When I woke up this morning, I wondered, is Fiverr still a good way to make money or is that ship sailed? Well, I decided I'm gonna spend the next 30 days finding out. So Fiverr's been around for 10 years or so, and when it started, the platform was very simple. It allowed anyone to offer their online service, whether it's marketing, traffic, photo manipulation, whatever, for five bucks. Yeah, oh, don't say bucks, that's not ladylike. I actually signed up for Fiverr back in 2013 as a seller. I did a few photo editing gigs, and after all was said and done, I made like maybe 20 bucks. Fiverr took 20% of everything, so it was $4 per gig. Was not a very exciting way to make money, so I kind of forgot about it. Since then, the platform has really just expanded. There's more sellers than ever, and now you can set your own prices. Uh, you don't have to just start at $5. You go all the way up to like $995. So what I want to know, is Fiverr still a good way to make money in 2020? Or is the market way too oversaturated with uh, too much competition for you to even waste your time trying it out? So that's what I'm gonna figure out. Okay, so I need to find what service I'm gonna offer on Fiverr. And I have two main criteria. First, it has to be something that I'm already pretty good at or know how to do. And second, it has to be something that doesn't take up too much time because I don't have a ton of free time and I don't wanna spend all of it to make a little bit of money. And so my first thought is to do something with photo editing. I've been editing photos for like 10 years and I feel like I'm pretty good at it. So um, I should be able to make some money on Fiverr editing photos, right? So let's take a look and see how many people are already doing it and what the competition is like. Okay, so I'm just gonna go to Photoshop editing. Okay, under Photoshop editing, it looks like we have over 1400 services available. That's not actually too crazy. It's a lot of people to compete with. Um, but um, it definitely seems like a popular niche. A lot of these top profiles have a lot of reviews, which means a lot of orders. Let's think of a few more gig ideas outside of photo editing. Hair braiding and how to make biscuits, French kissing. My second thought is I've been a video editor for a long time. And so with something like that, I could charge a little bit more and do fewer gigs, maybe just one or two gigs a month and bring in several hundred dollars because it is a more time intensive thing and it involves a little bit more skill. So um, let's take a look and see how video editing is doing on Fiverr. Twenty two thousand services. That's a lot. It might be a good idea to narrow that niche down. It could be creating a YouTube trailer video, maybe a social media ad or something like that. So maybe I'll find a sub niche within video editing where there's less competition and I might have a better chance of at least booking one or two gigs. I'll come back to that later. Let's think about one other thing I could do. Well, I went to school for audio engineering and I could definitely do some audio editing. So for anyone that has like a podcast or something and they just need their audio edited, I could do that. So let's see, under industries here on Fiverr, there's a podcasting section and even podcast editing. So that's kind of a sub niche within audio editing is podcast editing. And there's 1600 services available. So that's not terrible. I still think um, from what I was expecting, I know there's over like a million sellers on Fiverr. So I think I'm gonna try to do a shotgun approach. More of the motor. <laughs> have gigs in all sorts of different categories and hopefully get a few bookings throughout the month to try to make a little extra money. So my goal for the end of today is to get some of my own gigs live. I wanna have plenty of keywords in the descriptions because I think that's key. Let me give you a major key. For when people are searching on Fiverr to find your gig. So I'm gonna spend plenty of time working on the descriptions for those. Hopefully by the end of the day, everything will be live and then I can focus on some other aspects like promotion. And I know one of the main difficulties is getting your first review. It's kind of a catch 22 because how do you get reviews if no one wants to buy your services because you don't have any reviews? I know there's some Facebook groups where people trade reviews, which is probably against Fiverr's terms of service. So I'm gonna to try to not do that. Maybe if a week goes by and I'm not getting any views, I may have to resort to something like that.
All right, so it's been a few days now with the Fiverr Challenge, and it took me a few days because I had to make some videos for the old day job. So I didn't create the gigs as early as I'd like to. I decided to go with a podcast editing gig, a video editing gig, and a photo retouching gig. And the photo retouching gig went live the soonest, and it's been up for a few days. Right now, the analytics are down for Fiverr, but when I last checked, my photo retouching gig had zero views, zero likes, clicks, whatever, zero everything across the board. So I can see how if you're first starting on Fiverr, it can be pretty discouraging to get started when nothing's really happening on your profile. Right now, it's not looking so good for Fiverr. Another thing I think I'll try is uploading a video introducing the gig, um, especially like the photo retouching one, where um, a lot of people will not have videos up there. And I think Fiverr will favor my listing in the search results if there is a video uploaded. So I'll, I'll record a quick video so that people know there's like a real person behind the gig. So I think that'll lend to the credibility of my gig and maybe help the person create a connection with me. Hey, thanks for checking out my Fiverr gig. My name is Daniel and I've been a photographer since 2012 and I've been editing photos ever since. For this gig, I will enhance the details, apply a beautiful color grade and retouch any faces that you'd like. If you have a washed out sky in your image, I can replace it with a beautiful dramatic sunset or anything else that you might want for the mood of your photo. If that sounds good to you, pick a package below and I look forward to working with you. All right, so it's been quite a few days since I first launched my Fiverr gigs, and so far it's been crickets. No gigs yet. I don't know if it's even being viewed by anyone. So I did resort to joining some Facebook groups where you can trade favoriting each other's gigs and things like that. So I did that one afternoon, and now my photo retouching gig, which is the one I was trying to promote the most, has eight favorites, or it's been saved eight times and my other ones have each been saved two times. I logged into Fiverr this morning and I got a message saying they handpicked me as a rising talent on the platform, which gives you increased exposure and gives your gigs more credibility. So that's actually really cool. And they don't really tell you the criteria they use to pick uh, certain sellers, but I think having a video with me in it talking about the gig itself really lends to the credibility of it. There's a real person behind it who's actually gonna be working on it. So I think the video has really helped. So I'm hoping this will give me some views and hopefully people will start buying gigs. So far this entire month, Fiverr's gig analytics have been down. And so I can't see the impressions, clicks, views, anything like that on all of my gigs. It just says NA. So I'm hoping that gets back online soon so I can kind of see if people are actually looking at my gigs. All right, so it's been exactly two weeks since Fiverr made me a rising talent, and I thought that would lead to some inquiries and hopefully some gigs booked. But up until this point, I've only ever received spam messages on Fiverr and nothing actually real. Until today, I woke up and I had three messages from different people inquiring about my services. So one was for audio editing, one was for editing a wedding video, and then I had another video editing gig for YouTube and I responded to all of them. I really didn't want to do the wedding video one because I know it's a ton of work and it just takes forever and I didn't think it'd be worth it, but I gave him my rate, so we'll see. And I also responded to the other two and I haven't heard back yet, but I'm assuming this means that I've risen higher in the search results and people are starting to find my page and reach out, so that's pretty cool. And I'm hoping that one of these at least leads to a gig because the month is running out and I so far haven't made any money on Fiverr. So that would not make for a very exciting video if I don't end up making any money at all. So I really hope that one of these pans out. Okay, so I woke up this morning and I checked my email and I had several more messages on Fiverr from different people inquiring about some videos. One guy wanted 40 videos, mostly like text and photos, things like that. And I quoted him at $20 per video for a total of $800. Then I'm, I'm talking to one other guy who wanted another kind of promo video, pretty simple. So I told him to go ahead and order my standard package, which is $60. All right, so I just got an email that I booked my first gig. So that's really exciting. And it's from the one guy who wanted a promo video and I quoted him at $60. So I have a $60 gig booked and I'm gonna get working on that. And I'm gonna try to turn it around really quickly. So hopefully he'll leave some good feedback and give me a five-star review. And I'll hopefully I'll just continue to go up in the search rankings. 
Oh, and by the way, I did check to see where I show up on the search results for video editing, and lo and behold, I'm on the first page. Okay, I'm 29 days into May and I've finally made some money. So my first gig was that promo video editing for $60 and it went pretty well. There were only two hiccups really. Uh, the first being English was not the buyer's primary language. So there was a few communication issues and I needed some clarifications on a few points, but we, we got through it all right. And second, they didn't really give me very good quality clips to work with or a lot of them. Luckily, I already had a subscription to a stock video site so I could download higher quality clips that other people have shot and put them in the video for free. So I spent about an hour working on the first cut and then I sent it over to the buyer and he gave me a few pieces of feedback and I implemented those. It took me about another 30 minutes and then that's it, the gig was done. So first gig delivered, I'm pretty pumped to stack those Benjis, but not so fast. Fiverr's gotta take its whopping 20% cut leave me with just $48. Now $48 is still pretty good for 90 minutes of work, but I have to admit, it still stings. <laughs> Literally five minutes after I delivered my first gig, I received an inquiry for another project and I was able to respond within one minute because I was already online, which was crucial because I was able to book the gig just a few minutes later. This was a straightforward one minute video and I charged $25 for it. I spent maybe an hour on the first cut and delivered it and then they asked me to blur out some parts of the footage and they said they pay extra for it. So I charged an additional $20 for it because I knew it would take me about an extra hour of work. So in total, I spent about two hours on this project and made $45. Well, gotta subtract Fiverr's 20%, but all in all, I feel good. Both buyers were really happy with the project and uh, I'm starting to make money, so it's pretty exciting. Okay, so I'm officially done with my 30-day Fiverr experiment. To finish out the month, the client from the second gig ended up ordering two more video editing jobs for me. Both times they're really simple, and I was able to charge a $5 additional service fee for little tweaks that he wanted. So he ended up being a great client. So let's go over the final numbers. It took 24 days until I received my first order. I had 17 non-spam inquiries, seven inquiries that I declined because they either wanted an ongoing video editor or just wasn't the right fit for me, and four total orders. I ended up with $132 in total profit. So all in all, I was pretty pleased by the amount of inquiries I was getting by the end of the month. It's clear that a lot of people are actually looking for long-term editors on Fiverr. So if I was gonna be in it for the long haul, I can see Fiverr being a good way to find consistent clients. I think if you're on Fiverr looking to hire people, you probably don't have the biggest budget. So I think a lot of people that messaged me were just shopping around to see what the best rate they could get was. I know how much work goes into each gig, so I didn't really lower my rate that much. I think it's best to find a number that works for you and stick with it. In total, I spent about four and a half hours working on those gigs for roughly $29 an hour before taxes, which is pretty solid. So I think this is something that would continue to snowball if I were to stick with it because I was getting a lot of messages coming in at the end of the month. So it could really lead to some decent side income. All of the gigs that I booked came in the last week of my 30 day experiment. So if this weekly trend continued and I was booking the same amount of gigs every week, that could be an additional $528 per month working about four additional hours a week, which is pretty significant. So if this is something that you wanna try for yourself, here are some tips that I think will help you have success. First, create gigs targeting sub niches within the genre you want to work. For instance, in video editing, I chose a sub-niche of editing for YouTube. For audio editing, I chose a sub-niche of podcast editing. Second, create the maximum allowed gigs. Third, create a thumbnail that stands out from the sea of all the other gigs. I find if everyone is doing one thing all the same and you want to stand out, you have to do the opposite of that. Make sure it looks good, make sure it looks professional, but try not to blend in. Four, upload a video for each gig explaining a brief summary of the gig and a quick background about yourself. Five, Keep your prices low to start, and then once you get reviews, you can start to raise your prices. Six, answer messages as soon as possible. You wanna keep your response time low so Fiverr knows that you're an active Fiverr seller and people won't be waiting around to hear from you. Download the Fiverr app on your phone and stay online as much as possible. Buyers can search based off who is currently online, so if they want a quick response, they might select that filter, and if you're online, you have a better chance of getting messaged. Get a kickstart by trading favorites with other Fiverr sellers on Facebook groups. Nine, be patient. As I mentioned, it took me 24 days to get my first order, so just hang in there. So, can you still make money on Fiverr in 2020? Yeah.